Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETF. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we have found support at the 300 moving average. And now we're heading towards the 20 exponential, which we have tested today and pulled back fairly a bit. But uh, the question is whether or not we are, this is going to be the bottom and this is going to be how this is going to change in direction because we have been well trending towards um the 300 moving average now for well several months and uh, we have tried to to um to uh, rally to the upside but we all of those rallies have been well have not been successful we can see that we tried to rally here ran into the 50 moving average and then broke down. We tried around here as well as the 50, 20, 50, 20, and so on. So we are running to the 20 now. And if we get rejected here, then it's fairly likely that we'll fall back towards the 300 moving average, break below the 300 moving average, then, then we'll fall significantly lower. If we break above the 20 exponential, then the 50 is the moving average that we are going to look at, which is roughly at 117 at this current stage. Technically, they all do favor the upside at this current stage. MACD is um, is across the signal line, it's bullish. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is bullish. And uh, here in the bullish band, if we manage to break up above the middle of the bullish band, then it could mean that we could go and test the 50 moving average, which is roughly 6.9% to the upside so let's look at the dvi so dvi has a rallied yet again this was a fairly good day in the stock market we are just above the middle of the bullish band there's quite a lot of room to the upside give or take 1.56 percent to the upside before we hit the top of the bullish band technically indicators they are not all favoring the upside macd is bearish cci rsi is flat CCI is flat, as the classic is still bearish, but has turned around and looks like it's going to cross the signal line in the next few trading days. So to the upside, we have the top of the bullish band roughly at 124. To the downside, we have the 20 exponential moving average, and then we also have the 40 exponential down here at 118, which was the last time we tested that was massive support. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has also rallied 1.01% today. We're trading just above the middle of the Bollinger Band. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, but it's about to cross the signal line, indicating bullish momentum. RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and Stochastic is bullish as well. To the upside, we could rally towards 100 and 220. That's a rally of 1.41% before running into the top of the Bollinger Band. To the downside, we have the 50... We have the 40 exponential that's down that's a fall of roughly 1.75 percent and the 50 right on it around two percent to the downside and that should also offer support so let's look at mchi so this ran into resistant at the 200 moving average fell quite nastily on on friday and recovered a little bit today, 0 0.28, and we, we have recovered today. But it kind of looks like we are about to drop back towards the 300 moving average. So until we basically break above the 200, the 50, then it is more likely that this will just roll over and head back towards the 300 moving average. You see also here, we rallied up towards the 50, broke down, rally up towards the 200 and 50 right here as well, and we broke probably will break down at this point but it is to be seen there's not um, a whole lot of ep uh, optimism at this current stage this uh, candlestick here on friday was a big bummer for uh, the ctf if you look at these uh, technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish the rsi is flat the cci is flat the casting is still bullish above the signal line but it is turning around so you could see this uh, fall towards the bottom of the bullish band that's a roughly a drop of 3.7 percent to the downside or to 76 um, and that's also where we found massive support in the past so let's look at ivv 
So this has uh, rallied today. We're up at one point zero one percent. Technically, they are turning around. MACD is still underneath the second line, but it looks like it's going to cross in the next uh, two trading days. The RSI is bullish. The CCI is bullish. The Kasdaq is bullish, and we could see this probably go back to the previous highs here at the four hundred and twenty-four. That's kind of looks like, looks what kind of looks like what we are going to. It's a fairly um, head and shoulder pattern that is uh, forming here. And if we manage to uh, break above here, then we could probably see a rally to the upside of give or take four point. 25% that would leave this well significantly higher here to around 441 to the upside but uh, we need to basically take out these previous highs in order to confirm that to the downside the 50 moving average has offered a massive support so as the 40 and the, uh, and the 20 exponential moving average if we look at how this has been behaving for the last uh, a few months or basically half a year so here 50, same 50, 50, and then also 50 here. So a takeout of 434 could see this go significantly higher. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.